No, it's not. Man, this would have been a fire joke if this wasn't a second attempt at this playthrough. Cause... I don't even remember my commentary from the first one. That's going to suck. But that means you can say new fun things. Yeah, but now all my jokes have gone to waste and I don't remember them. <laughs> True. But anyways, hey guys. It's Dark Knight Sky, and I'm here with Chigger from Chigger Gaming for Ripto's Rage, the second Spyro game. Yeah, say hello for me, Sasha. Oh, now you want to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so as I've already alluded to, this is our second attempt recording this game because we had audio issues last time and it was so bad I said, you know what, I'm we're just gonna try this uh a second time. Which seems to be uh the running joke for lack of a better word with this series it seems because the last time we did like the first game was technically the second attempt at it uh for a different reason spiral isekai all right isekai tell me i'm wrong don't you have to die to be isekai not necessarily oh I always just kind of... I mean, nobody dies in, like... Well, nobody dies initially when they do all those in, the, going into a computer game, isekais. Well, like, I thought the difference between isekai versus sh being shanghai was whether you died or not. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Because <laughs> I, I would think this is more like getting shanghai I, I, I don't follow weebism that much, so I could be wrong. <laughs> uh, I, I, I... I'll... I'll admit I'm not 100% certain on that either. I think I said something to this effect last time, but like, these two Crush smash. are not the smartest uh, minions in the whole wide world. So, also, did you say Crush and what was the other nickname? I don't know. Because one of them is actually called Crush. That's why I said Crush Smash. I don't remember what the other one was. Gulp. It's Crush and Gulp. I remember you, like, a few days ago, I think, tried to remember the Fawn's name. I still forgot. I forgot it again. And maybe that's just because I really don't like her that much. <laughs> To be fair, she's... I don't like either of them, but still. She's not a great character, in my opinion, either. I mean, they're both worse than the original, because freaking Hunter looks like a Muppet. <laughs> uh, flappy mouth and everything. What? Remind me what the context is for you looking up... Uh, I didn't look it up. That was Lonnie when she was talking about it in the Discord chat. And you were uh, thinking you were spoiling stuff. I mean, I was kind of worried she was going to spoil something for you. But no, she's just showing this, showing the, uh, apart from the whole writing the squid thing, she's just showing the original visuals for some of this. Right. And while I have played the original Spyro the Dragon, I never ever played the second one, so I did not know Hunter was a Muppet. So, like the first game, we are going to swap back and forth in who's in control. I am going to take it uh, for the first turn. I don't even remember who did what the last time. We got it up to 30% when it was just like, nah. Yeah, we only got about 30% of the way. So, technically speaking, Jigger has seen the beginning part of this game. I mean, I forgot most of it, so... We got up to defeating the first boss. So, after the first boss is over, that's where it's going to be pure blind territory again for Jigger. I mean, it's probably be blind going through the Microsoft Flight Simulator level anyway. Uh, you did one of the Oh, flight. I know I did it, but like I said, I forgot most of this. Well, thankfully, this game is way nicer about the flying levels than Spyro 1 was. And I'd say Spyro 3 is actually probably the easiest of the three. I don't know, that stage, I remember that stage I playing being kind of nasty. 
That being said, uh, there is one part of the flying stages that does kind of still suck in 3. But we will get to that when we get to the third game. For now, we are here. Uh, I believe I mentioned this last time, but you probably noticed the enemies are not dropping gems this time. They are dropping wisps. Also, I'd like to point out I made some great AI art for a cover for this, but she didn't want to do it. The, no, you didn't. I know for a fact you have not done any AI art shenanigans since you got here. Oh, I was talking about before I left. Oh. Wait, which one are you referring to? I would have to double check and look at the ones I posted, because there's multiple ones that would work. <laughs> I, I just am like, mm, I'd rather not use AI art for my thumbnails. That actually might be problematic anyways, because YouTube has been really cracking down on using AI. Not from videos. what I've seen. I still see so many videos where it's just like the whole thing is an AI generated video with an AI voice. Well, now you actually have to state that your video has AI in it. I think you're still technically allowed to use AI, but now you actually have to explicitly say you're using it. Yeah, I mean, I'm people are still making president AI playing games. Yeah, I... I don't want to get into it too much because, you know, we're we're playing a game. But just... just I personally don't think people should be doing AI voices for people that are still alive that's all i'm gonna say on the matter fair enough although i still say say the one i the the image i made of you riding spyro the dragon works for this too ah oh, hello money bags <laughs> hi mr krabs this is basically mr krabs like you're not wrong this is basically mr krabs oh man where's clancy brown then there used to be a glitch you can do in the original game where you could actually jump over the bridge without having to pay him. Which actually allowed you to learn, like, swimming early. I kind of don't like the fact that you have to use gems to pay for stuff in this one since it's a collect-a-thon. makes it harder to tell whether you got everything or not. Well, that's why uh, Sparks... Being able to point at things is actually pretty useful. Technically speaking, that didn't become a thing until the third game, but they actually implemented the Reignited Trilogy for all three. Which is nice. It does raise a question I have in terms of, like, uh, how something works in the third game, but we will figure it out when we get to it. So technically, all we need to do is just make it to the end. And that's the bare minimum we need to do for each world. But, uh... I was debating this for a while, like... Are we going to 100% this game? Yeah, you never gave me a clear answer on that one, even when we started the, started the last time. I know, and I'm still kind of like... Eh... Like, I get doing it for the first game, but like this one is this one just sounds questionable with the backtracking. I kind of want to play it by ear, like I originally had said. I'm here. Thank you. Oh man, this also begs the question are we going to use the donut spiral cheat code? No, probably not. Because don't you remember how much of a pain a butt it was just to get the extra life cheat code to work? Yep. It would be even more complicated. Alright. And then we do this. I just want to take care of this part first. Oh, I hate lighting lampposts. Or lighthouses in the other flying stages. There we go. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it. <laughs> he 
is it technically the orb a gem? It sure looks like a gem. So the main things we're going to need to collect are, of course, gems, for obvious reasons. Uh, and then we're going to have to collect a, at least a certain number of orbs, even if we don't 100% uh, all the stages. Because we need a certain number of orbs to actually uh, beat the game. And be able to access all the stages. Mm -hmm. So we will need to do some things that are technically optional. Alright, I believe there is somewhere... Ah, well, I uh, apparently missed some gems here. Wait, what were you pointing at? This is probably something in that cave. Oh, probably. You're right. Yep. Ah, yes. Oh man, we've been through this in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah. Shooting that booty. I would, but first, we need. Ah! Man, I never thought. Anybody did not play this, never thought they'd be have fire lizards shaking the booty at them. They, they did that um, in the original, too. That's not new. Like, I don't know what it is with this. With, uh. Am I doing this wrong? Okay, weird. Oh yeah, there's a double jump in this. I forgot about that. It's technically a hover, but yeah. Ah yes, double jump. Original. Am I? Hmm. Okay, I might not be letting myself get my wings open quite enough. Because technically speaking, if you just do like a... That's technically a cancel. You dash jump? I know you can get that. No, there's no. Oh my gosh. Really? Yeah, even the cat says so. There we go. That should not have taken as many. It's tries. a lot of work for what? For just that. I'm trying to get as many as I can right now because it'll make getting certain abilities faster. So I am trying to be thorough with the gems. Sasha, can you not do that? <laughs> she is between my legs now. Lurp. But do. All right. Where are you going? I think I remember where you go. Oh, I missed some gems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, let me get these first. Cool. Where'd you go? Saw that coming. Oh, I must have spooked him. Uh... Gotcha. I'm gonna shoot him in the ass this time. Uh, where'd you go? Ah, that's way. Okay, down here. Hey, you were just wanting attention today. Oh, Isn't you're that much, huh? Oh, I was too close to him. I was too close to him. Oh, stop. There we go. And ba -doop. There you go. 
If I remember, I gotta cancel out of the menu. So every time I go past uh, one of the fairies, it will save our progress. Right. Okay, when he comes back over here, I will. Right, doesn't even think, don't those things have anything better to do? Apparently not. That's on me, the guy could only do that with one jump. Alright, where is he? I think he's up here, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, you got a clear shot there. That. Ah. Uh, Sash, can you not? <laughs> There we go. Apparently that's a no. Hey, you've saved my crop of gems from the lizard. Here, take this orb. It does raise a question. Why does a bunch of jerboas have gems? Cause that's basically what those are. They are jerboas. I mean, I wonder who's making them do some mining. Cause All right. How, cause how much cause how much coal could a little rat get? They are not technically rats. Close enough. They're Jeroboas. They're more closely related to mice. Sorry, I keep hearing a noise and I don't know what I'm hearing. That's sure. It sounds more like a beeping noise. You beeping? No. You beeping? Weird. I keep hearing that noise every time Spyro jumps or drops down from somewhere. Mm. You gotta beep if I boop your nose. Huh? It actually doesn't like people touching her nose. <laughs> 